So I feel like my love for kitsch started with Tweety Bird. <laughs> and you know why? Can you see it? It's the lashes. Hey friends, it's Alex with BF Vintage. I have not dropped a video in a while. Uh, reason being, I've been dealing with a lot of health issues uh, recently and it's been quite the struggle. So I do apologize that I have not been keeping up with that. It's been very, very challenging for me. Um, so I appreciate all of you that are still you know, um, following and watching and waiting for a video. Like it really means a lot, the uh, people that have reached out and asked. Um, but, um, my hope is that I'll start feeling better soon and be able to be more consistent. Um, but in any case today we are going to go, uh, to savers, see if we can find any goodies for my whatnot live sales, my knickknacks, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. There was some pretty loud music when I first walked in, so I'm going to do voiceover for this part. But first thing I grabbed was this celestial piece, you know, it really, really, really gorgeous with the gold and the silver, but had that chip on the nose, so I had to put that back. And then I saw this pink glass, glass uh, bowl, uh, and it, it did look vintage, but uh, you know, I just don't really think it's that popular, and so I decided to pass on that as well. Uh, was just checking out this souvenir piece for a minute, and then I found this little donkey clear glass planter, and I thought it was pretty cool, but I was also just kind of trying to inspect the quality, make sure that I wasn't seeing any chips or cracks, and I was really indecisive about it, especially since it was already $4, so inevitably I decided to pass. Normally I'd be all over something like this because of those lashes, but obviously the quality of this is not good, made in China, so we're going to leave it behind, but you know I'm still into the lashes, I can't help myself. This one is also very cute. Uh, I don't think it's vintage though, so we're going to keep looking. Oh, there's a little snail. I'm thinking it's probably modern. Actually, it might be a hobbyist piece. It might be something someone painted. Um, let's see if I can pull off the tag and see if there's anything under that. No signature, so I'm gonna pass on it. I did also see this one up here. It's like a gold snail, but again, no marking. So I'm gonna guess it's probably modern as well. So we'll leave it. Did spot this little guy he does have a japan sticker under there but he's five bucks and i i don't know i don't think he's all that special just my opinion the bird is cute so is the dog but meh, i'm gonna leave it so i noticed they had like a um, stuff they're putting out here these bins of things they're putting out and i saw this and it's really cool it's five dollars looks like it is made in mexico and it's very cool it's got brass in it and it's pottery so um I think I might snag that for five. I think there's room there on that one. Also spotted this cute little hobbyist piece. It's on a mushroom. It's a little mouse on a mushroom. But I will say I'm trying to ask myself, like, is there room here for me? Because it's already at five. And, um, oh man, that one's tough. I think I'm still going to grab him because he is a mushroom and he's adorable. He's got lashes too. Can't stop myself. <laughs> so apparently someone donated a bunch of stuff that was into celestial things because now I see these two candle holders, but my gosh, $10.99 for one? This is vintage, but it's party light from the 90s and I've sold one of these before on my Etsy and it took a long time and that, the, for that price it's definitely there's no room for me there so we're gonna pass so I feel like my love for kitsch started with Tweety Bird <laughs> and you know why can you see it it's the lashes <laughs> I just can't help it I'm mesmerized by them and just so cute but I just want Obviously, I'm not going to grab this, but 
I couldn't help but at least take a look at it because, you know, Tweety Bird inspired my love for kitchen all. <laughs> I was drawn to this bag because it has this cute little kitten in it. I don't know if it's left in or not, but the bag's $6 and the other items in it aren't that great, so I don't think I'm going to grab that. All right, so you notice this bag and it has a bunch of different little frog prints on wood so they're like wall decor looks like there's one two three four of them and they look adorable so for four bucks i am gonna grab those okay i spotted this doll over here and now i want to go digging to see if it's worth it at all because the doll looks very kitschy but it may be completely waste of time I don't know <laughs> honestly can't really tell I'm gonna have to investigate this further okay I don't actually know what's up with her but there's also a tiny little cutie doll in there <laughs> so for that reason for 450 I think I am gonna grab it and take a chance and research the two of those later see what the deal is with this one because she I love her lashes and there's something about her and obviously little tiny cutie can't pass that up so we're gonna grab it so I spotted the hum, little Homco pixie in there and then I also noticed that there's like a mini elephant like a mini brass elephant in here the bag is six bucks so even if those are the only two items I sell it's three bucks each I think there's a little bit of room only thing I'm concerned about is she looks like she has a little bit of damage to her face, but it might not be too bad. So I think I am going to grab that. <clears throat> so I noticed this blue glass bowl or ashtray or something, and I'm like, it is so cool looking. It looks higher quality to me. I think we're gonna need to Google Lens it and see if we can find out anything about it because it is so beautiful. It's only five bucks. Well, here's hoping that the info I'm seeing on eBay is right because they are saying this is Fenton, which is wild to me. Um, but there's multiple listings and that uh, it's a Fenton ashtray. And I just think it's stunning. So we're gonna grab that for five. I didn't notice this uh, pedestal bowl plate. Looks very mid-century to me. And it looks like it is myrtle wood. I've sold some myrtle wood, wood candlestick holders. They were really, really high quality. And the wood of this is gorgeous. But I don't know. Four bucks, I'm just not sold. This is utterly terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why they think it's supposed to be cheerful and fun but I'm afraid so I spotted this gorgeous Native American sand art and it looks like it's a specific um, symbol the great sun god symbolizes strength and even though I really like it and the frame is nice and the hook for the frame is nice I feel like just I don't know like it might take a while to sell for me so if it was different like subject matter then I might do it but being pickier these days I thought this was pretty cool I have this in the case there Elvira model kits and Elvira is a total sleigh so definitely had to at least show it to you guys uh, $80 obviously doesn't put it anywhere near where I could get it but Cool nonetheless. So this is what we ended up getting. Just a couple little things, but still some cute stuff. Okay, so we ended up spending $26.23, which was less than I expected because it turns out several of the items were 50% off and I had no idea they were like the the ones that were gray stickers. So um, yeah, I was really happy that we were able to find some goodies. The the um, little mushroom, the mouse on the mushroom is probably my favorite of the day. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. And if you wanna see more videos, gotta hit that subscribe button. Till next time, friends, have a fantastic week and hope you're having happy holidays as well. Bye.